but it's all planning stages today, ladies and gentlemen. It's all planning. Oh no, 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 no. Where the? F what? Damn it. Um, throw that there. I keep. I, I must remember to change that for when I build the actual lander. If we ever get that far. Do you know what would be cool? That little one-man lander that I tested on the original Armstrong, but that requires so many mods, it's unreal. Perhaps maybe I could make a... Well, I don't want to use a one-man pod, though. That is the problem. Although I could use a one-man pod, but... It'd be lonely as hell for poor old whoever we sent out. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's begin our gravity turn. Right, we should have a bit more Delta V this time around, so... Let's throw on some time warp. Who gives a rubbish? Who gives a rubbish? Who really cares if it wobbles around like this? I'm hoping this should do its duties. I hope it does. Right, 300, we're down to half fuel. Okay, let's uh, further around this gravity turn. Hold it there. I don't even care that I'm not quite on the 90 marker either. If we can build an orbit out of this, then I think this is going to be our design. The only problem I'm going to have with it is actually building a launcher that can carry said lander. Hmm. Need more R&D. Need more funds for R&D. All your base R belong to us. Come on, keep on going. Stop wobbling around so much. Uh, right, okay, we're coming up to a K speed. I, I don't think we've built the orbit out. Um, how high is this? No, I don't think we're even going to leave the atmosphere at this rate, so carry on burning. We'll see what we can do. Right, 70, we're just about making it out of the atmosphere this time around. I think I might be going about this too complicated. If uh, that, that isn't the right grammatical term, is it? Yeah, I think I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, right, okay... That there, yeah, we don't have enough fuel to do what I'm intending to do. I should think anyway. In fact, what I might do is I might take us up to the Apo and then see how much this fuel will build an orbit. I don't think it will build an orbit in the slightest, but it's worth a try. I only need to get my Delta V to 2000 something. Uh, I can never remember it. I know it's 2000 something. How are you doing? 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Not nearly enough. Not nearly enough at all. But we did make it even further than we did last time, so that's still good news. So how am I going to deal with this now? Um, da -da 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 -da. I'd use jet engines, but jet engines only take me up so high, and then I'm just relying on this. And as we've seen so far, that is not a good enough engine. Hmm, how to work this? I wonder if I were to put a bigger engine on it, that might make a blind bit of difference. In fact, let's let's put bigger engines on these here, shall we? Uh, launch. Alright, first up, load and go. Oh no, I've done it again, I've done it again. S stupid engines! Uh, where are you? There. Alright, bring you down because we'll need these. Uh, launch. Alright, here we go. Let's try this one again. That seems to be my phrase of the day. Let's try this one again. Alright. Oh, you know what I haven't considered? Yes, you know what? I'm going to give them a go. Why didn't I think of this in the first place? Aero spikes. That's what we want. Good old faithful, super efficient aero spikes. Oh, and of course, useless, absolutely useless to try and put on rockets. I, bleh, I hate putting these things on. I don't know why these engines play so funny with me. I, don't, I, I think it might be a bug. I think I've seen a CFG edit where that fixes these, but I imagine a devs will come, uh, fix it when it comes to it at some point. 
fixing the connection points for those aero spikes. Right, that should, in theory, be a lot more efficient than what I was just attempting. In fact, this should be as efficient as um, the last engines that I put on. Oh god, yes, we are soaring through the sky this time. Okay, that's good. Up to 100 meters per second already. Alright, alright, okay, that's good. Maybe I should put an aero spike on the big tank at the bottom. Hmm, now that is an interesting thought, if I do say so myself. But we'll do that in a minute, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. And then we will work from there. Ah, with a bit of luck, we should make it to gravity turn stage with these engines intact. Um, oh, I don't know actually, 7,000, keep on going, keep building that speed up, but let's begin the start of the gravity turn at least. Throw it in a little bit early while we've got while we've got the power. Da -da -da -da. Right, okay, drop it off. Don't cause any problems. See, now last time we were only at about 200. Um, I mean, our speed is falling, but it's not falling as much. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I need to go check the stats out, out, out on those aero spikes because that could be the one to use for that. I'll have to put on some holding clips to hold it up so it can actually stand on the aero spike without it breaking anything. Alright, we're starting to uh, climb again now, so uh, should we uh, start moving in this direction? Alright, speed is going up. Alright, there we go. Nice. Um, I'm going to throw in some time warp. Just to see how high we actually get. Uh, you see, we could be coming down to the same amount of fuel that we'd have normally. Hmm, interesting. How high are we going on the Apo? 40,000. Not near enough high, high enough. Keep on going. Keep on going. Alright, let's uh, begin going this away because we should have cleared the atmosphere now on the map. Let's have a look. No, we still haven't cleared the atmosphere on the map. Uh, come on, you can do it! How much speed we've got here? 1,300. Can we can we get this up any faster? Because this could be it. We could be well on the cards here for a decent lander. The only thing it then needs is those nervous to get us to lave. And at the end of the day, this would be the edge of lave's atmosphere here. So we may have a bit of an easier job of getting away than what we are doing getting from curbing. But to have the extra fuel there, I'd say is, is a commodity I don't want to pass up. I don't see why anyone would want to pass it up. But we're going to be building an orbit out of this soon, I hope. How are we doing for time? 23 seconds. I think we may actually do this, ladies and gentlemen. I do think we may actually do this. Um, actually, no, we're not, we're not even coming out of the atmosphere here, are we? Uh, keep going, keep going faster, 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 faster. Get that apo right out. Um, right, if I can keep that high up... Let's br let's bring that right up, shall we? So it's got plenty of time to mess around in the atmosphere. We're literally about out of fuel. So what I'll do is I'll try and get out of the atmosphere as quick as I can. You keep bringing that down a little bit. And then when I get up, I should be able to push this side out it just momentarily. How much fuel? Oh, we've got three seconds of burn. That's never a good thing at all. But... But, we've almost pretty much made it into orbit, so I think we do have a working lander design here for LAVE. Interesting times are ahead for the Kerbal Space Program. Interesting times indeed. What is going to be interesting is attempting a landing and actually getting it right first time around Jewel. Oh dear, that's going to be hard. Hard work indeed. Um, pff, right. We need to get out of this atmosphere. Uh, how high is the Apo? See, it's still coming down, but it's ever so slightly going down. We are just having quite a dip in the atmosphere. Pretty nice, pretty nice if you ask me. There's that bug again. Ah, the rings of Kerbin. Um, right, are we out yet? Almost, almost there. 
Angelula Le, 13 by 55. Very interesting to find out if I'm actually going to be able to do this burn now. But, like I said, we are actually closer, so that's good. We're closer to our goal. Ah, there's bits of the returner going for a bit of a bit of a fly around the planet. Good to see working bits still around. Um, right, okay, let's see what we can do. How how high is that gonna go before it completely runs out? Yep, there we are. Sixty three thousand meters. So again, we are closer and flight vehicle. Uh, assembly building. What are these stats? 220 versus 250. You know what? Let's try an aero spike out on that and we'll see how this goes. Now this could be interesting. Um, Alright, what else do I need? Um, I need landing clips to hold it in place because now the aero spikes are on. It's going to be a bit Awkward to say the least. Right, okay. What? What is this? Why you? Why you know KSP? Uh. Alright. Just as a thought, it's awkward with this. Um. Right, there we go. That should do it. Right, this will be the final test. If this works, then we are on form to do this. So, bring that down. Launch. I'll also adjust the staging for the parachutes as well, I think. And I'll replace these with, instead of the couplet... Oh no, we'll need the couplets, won't we? Right, no, they have to stay the same. Alright, that's okay. Don't mind my ramblings, people. I'm just rambling my through my plan. So, let's go. How is this draining our tank now? It looks like it's draining it just as fast, in all fairness. Do we have fuel consumption? Yes, 13.1 per second. Oh, I suppose we'll find out, won't we, where, as we get further and further up. Interesting times of the Kerbal Space Program. Oh, I'm seeing some uh, minor wobble on that tank there. That'll have to be fixed. But no matter. No matter at all. Um, right, okay, those tanks are about to get... Yep, they're halfway down the last section. Throw in a gravity turn. And now we just allow our craft to do its thing. Right, okay, they're off. See, we've got an e even more speed up this time. Although it is dropping, it's starting to drop a lot closer to 300 as opposed to going... Yeah, okay, right. That's nice. That is nice indeed. Let's see how long this thing lasts, shall we? Look how high we are already. Okay. Let's get further down because we can do more of a sensible gravity turn this time around. Now I know that we're getting this kind of efficiency out of this engine. It's not going to be so efficient in space, but it doesn't really need to be. I just need to um, build up a sta steady orbit. And then it'll be all down to the rescue craft, so that will be an interesting des design, to say the least. But at least we have additional parachutes on us. I'm not going down with two, so three might be a good thing here. Um, right. I don't know how I'm going to do... Uh, a decoupler there as well. I've just it just occurred to me after I've side decouplers of some variety. Now that is going to make things much harder on me than it needs to be. How fast are we going? How high are we going? Even 56. So can we get a bit higher than that? Let's keep on this. Oh god, no, uh, SAS wasn't on then. I kind of panicked a little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what's going on? It was only a bit of minor SAS issues. But yes, I don't know how I'm going to get a decoupler on the bottom of that because decouplers don't go on an aero spike because the aero spike only has one node. No idea. No idea whatsoever. How are we doing for height? Okay, right. Let's get yourself on that 90 marker. Hold yourself there. And it's now just a burn for glory, this is. I think this could be it. This could be the design we're looking for if I can attach it to a launcher. 
what I'll probably do is um, after this test I'll cut have a little break go for a cigarette as I do and then I'll come back and I will build my launcher I reckon anyway I mean all, all this testing should be should amount to one good long episode for you guys so that's not so bad is it really uh, okay do do it this direction we're still you know what, I'll get to 100 and then I'll do my orbit from there I think uh, okay how much fuel have we got we have 40 seconds of burn right that is pretty good if I do say so myself okay right on that marker first up burn all of your fuel away see if, if we get an orb out of it yeah we are gonna get an orb out of this and we're gonna have fuel to spare so that's good that's really good look at that orbit Excellent, excellent indeed. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Right, so there is our design. So we're going to end that flight and we're going to head back to the VAB. Now, the question is how do I attach this to a. Hmm. Because let's, have, let's test this out. Yeah, that that doesn't seem to fit there, does it? No, and we can't fit. It. Oh God, how are we going to do this now? What if instead of having the landing legs there, we did it like? Um, well, these will have to go straight off the bat. So, what if we did it like that? No, I don't think it'd reach, would it? No, uh, so the landing legs would have to be in the same position. Or would they? Because I don't know if it only just covers that aero spike. Um, what if I went for this kind of design here? So, if I wanted a couple of here. Now this is a big overly complicated rocket if I do say so myself. So I'm going to cut it there. We're going to give this a name. Prototype. That's how you spell it. Prototype. Lander mark. How many did I go through? I'm sure it was seven. So we'll save that as that. And then as I said I'm going to take a break. That'll be the end of this episode. In tomorrow's episode or in my case in about 15 minutes time we will build a launcher to go with this craft obviously we'll put on the nerve engines as well so as always people like comment subscribe i will catch you in a bit peace out